just having some lunch. Braeburn apples from Co-op. Had some of that first. If you haven't tried this, get on it. Some of the bigger supermarkets do the bigger 700 grams. Look out for it. What do I carry on my bike? Well, at the moment, that's my little widget of stuff. There's bits and pieces in there. If you want to see a breakdown, a breakdown of that, right? There is an older video, but it's been uh, upgraded since. So just comment down below or thumbs the video up and I'll share exactly what I've got in there. Spare battery for my front light. This is round the block stuff, 18650. I always take a spare rear light as well, for obvious reasons. And then last night, on last night's ride, we took, I took some bulk well, because I felt like I was gonna pass. Anyway, that's all you need to know. A tube, obviously. Probably one of the better pumps I've used. Oh, I've been looking at those um, Lazine ones, like the mini, Lazine, is it? I don't know. These weird names. Like the little foot pump thing, like a mini one. There's several ones, isn't there? They do one with a pressure gauge and that. If anyone's used one of those, I don't know. Let me know down below how you got on. I might just invest anyway and give one a whirl. Best tire levers I've used so far anyway, because they're thin and they hook on the rim well. Three of, because if your tire's tight, you're gonna need three of. Tiny helmet light I'm packing sometimes, so I've got some spare batteries for that. So if my lights fail, then at least, at least I can get home or sort out a mechanical or a puncture in the dark, not thumb without some kind of head trickery, I tell thee. And in there, there's some. I've got the name now. I'm thinking Squirt. Squirt. So that's what P Roll's carrying on his round the block rides at the moment. Plus the ten pound note maybe for some uh, shitty Sprite. Anyway, see you later. Some of that. That's kind of all you need. Oh, the best tubes I've been using for a long time now, for obvious reasons, is Continental because you can remove the valve cores and it's so much easier if you need to put a valve extender on there as well so top tip there from that someone has kind of learnt the hard way with some kender crap bye people